hi dear friend and welcome to the second video of uh, your video pack so in today's video we are going to actually learn how to upload an image so uh, sometimes you may want to say or send a message and you may want to actually link it to a, a certain image or you can just send an image without a text you can do whatever you want but the thing that we are going to be learning today so so it matches with what we have done previously we want to send a message or something uh, we want to say like hi and we s we can send an, an image of our uh, weekend holidays or whatever so this is actually uh, what we are going to be doing so let's get into it so first things first so we want to uh, what we are going to be doing here is that we will first go here so we are going to talk about or we are going to be adding actually a new thing to this database which is going to be the image so if uh, a message contains an image then we are going to add that uh, option there right so we want to add that option there and we want to go back again here we want to go down here to this one and we may want so here we already have a, a column so it is easier it is easy for us to just add an image and it does have to be like that so we want to put it between the message and this one and uh, for we need we need also to add some paddings like 5 or 10 or whatever and yes it, it should looks it should look like that and uh, it, it actually uh, that that is very simple so we we need to first copy and paste the same thing but after we have finished this one we are going to apply the same for the other one but let's focus on the, uh, this one for now uh, and uh, what we need to be doing here is very simple so this image actually needs to have a dynamic path which is again inside this one so it will take it from there and there is one condition so uh, not all of our messages needs to have a, a, a certain image and that's why we are going to be using a condition visibility in case the 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 path of the image was empty for example we don't want to see it there right so we want to add a condition visibility and uh, it will it will be actually so we are going to say if uh, this one was empty so if the image was actually not empty it was if it was some if it, if something was there and so we are going to say if it is actually set something was there so we will confirm first so under this condition we can see it if it, if it is not set if it was empty then this will not show up right and uh, that is it for now so we can just copy this column right here we can just copy it remove this one and paste the new one here so we can have uh, pretty much the same thing on both sides uh, or sides sorry for that and we want to first go come here and add an icon right here or so we can do that here beside this one if you want so uh so it, it depends on uh, uh your it, it is actually your choice but we can first go and see if we can put it here so we want to first click there and see if there is an icon option and even if it does exist it will not have any any effect so we may want to just duplicate this one we can just uh, duplicate this one and uh, uh, for the for the other one we can add like uh, image or whatever so we can add the uh, image to it something like that and uh, for the actions these are going to be a, a little bit different so we want to delete that so guys what i have just done was just to somehow i'm preparing the design uh for the next uh, uh, step so now we have just made the design and now we can actually move on to the next step and start actually trying and see how we can do that and it's going to be very simple so what we are going to be doing here is that we are going to first click here so uh, here what it has to do it is very simple so it has to upload upload media to to your app to your uh, to your firebase we want to upload it there and you, you need to give them two options and that is it no you don't have to do anything else so once you have uploaded that then uh, you want to actually first so if we have uploaded so this is so what it has to do is that so this will just upload the the image and uh, here so 
uh, by the way if you don't know how to upload the media to your firebase you can find it in my front flow for beginners course on my channel so you can find it there and you can check it you can look out for the episode so we can learn from it so uh, what I will be doing here is that we are going to be going to this one so this uploaded the image and this is where we are going to be creating that so because you see that this is what creates the message so we are going to be adding the, the, the other field that is called image and it is going to be from uh, the uploaded media file right so since we have actually used the uh, of widget which was a b icon button to upload then the url of the images we have just uploaded will be available from the widget stage right so for the widget stage we are going to go to upload file url we will check it from there that is what we are going to be doing and for the default variable keep it empty so now uh, we have just added the new field so whenever we, we someone uploads a media uh, and link it to his message we are going to be creating that using this uh, little icon so this is actually uh, the whole idea but now uh, the thing is to go actually and try it but first we have an error here and we can just uh, go to click on that error and just uh, recompile uh, the code it is so now it is compiled successfully and then we can go and try this so guys let's actually try this we we can go so don't worry about this we are going to see how to fix it so we want to go there and here so uh, this so we, this is actually has the same disable option as this one because it was just a copy of it so we can say hi we can click here so we can upload from gallery we can upload uh, something like uh, uh, my image and if we click it here so we will try if it so you see now we can actually send an image so guys th this is so uh, to be honest i thought it was going to be complicated for me to explain to you but you see how it was so we can say say whatever we can add another image so this is the this is quran or the holy book of muslims and we can send it and uh, there is a problem because you uh, actually have the same uh, image but we can actually fix that uh, just in a minute and let's actually see how we fix it so guys i don't know what we have so maybe i have selected this my image but when i have selected the, the other one uh, it worked very good and just like how we actually how you, just like how you imagine and you see that we can scroll over the over them and you know that this is actually fun and uh, uh, you know when you learn something new you actually feel that you are making so much progress and that is a good feeling of learning so guys you know you now know how to upload an, an image and integrate that into your uh, own uh, message so if you want to just send a message you can just uh, the remove the disable action here and just remove it here so we can just send an empty message with just an image so i'm looking forward for you guys to actually to see how you will be doing that which is very simple it doesn't require something new to learn but and you can actually get it done in a measure of uh, seconds and i believe in you guys and with that said thank you so much guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed this uh, uh, video and you have learned something new from it if you do don't forget to send me a message on coffee tell me the the problems that you are facing and uh, uh, what you have learned you can send me whatever you want on coffee so i'm always there for you if you have any requests i'm there for you again and uh, with that out of the way thank you so much guys for watching and see you on the next video